Bill Fritz tells me he's been trying to get various maintenance issues addressed for nearly five years. And while he's glad EverStory Partners is now starting to address a laundry list of issues, he says damage from previous years can't be fully undone. When I visit one, I visit the whole family. No one's left out. Everyone's going to be visited at the same time. And prayers are going to be said while I'm there. These days, Bill Fritz goes with his wife several times a year to visit his seven family members who are buried at the Lorraine Park Cemetery and Mausoleum in Baltimore. But he grew up going with his parents in the 1970s, always bringing a special token of remembrance to honor his Uncle Eddie. He was in the foxhole quite a few times in the war. And from that experience in the Korean War, he did not want to be buried in the ground. And I always bring an American flag and put it in his vase. And we put flowers in my grandparents and my aunt, aunt's vase as well. The days of a receptionist, a book for visitors to sign in, and a steady melody of music in the mausoleum hallways are gone, replaced by peeling paint, broken lights, and cracked floors. It was just like it was forgotten, that nobody cared anymore. And I'm not going to forget about my family members. Nearly five years later, Fritz says he's finally starting to see change after 11 News Investigates reported on the dilapidated mausoleum two weeks ago. And it kind of woke everybody up. Fritz says he's exchanged emails and talked on the phone with Michelle Stone, vice president of EverStory Partners, which owns Lorraine Park and more than 400 cemeteries and funeral homes across the country. And she's came back with we have this electrical contractor, this roofing contractor, cement contractor. They're getting all the contractors now. Finally, after all this is going on. In a statement, Stone added that EverStory plans on tackling all of the maintenance issues, that electrical repairs are 90% complete, and that the HVAC system is a top priority. The Maryland Office for Cemetery Oversight says it sent an investigator to examine the mausoleum after 11 News Investigates story aired. The executive director added in part, once all of the documentation has been reviewed, a final decision will be made to assess if there is any reasonable basis to believe that there are grounds for disciplinary action. Fritz says for the first time in a long time, he dares to believe that something will change. My grandma and grandfather, they, they deserve this. And, um, and so does my uncle Eddie. I think I can tell it's, it's bringing up some emotions right now, uh, just talking about this. Can you tell me why? Well, because I spent so much time, you know, with my grandparents. But while he's hopeful, Fritz says his family's trust can never be fully earned back. There will not be another family member um, buried there, even, even if they do make all the improvements. Fritz tells me that even though the mausoleum is closed for repairs, he hopes to arrange a private visit later this summer so his family members can visit their loved ones. 11 News Investigates will continue to track this situation in the months ahead. For 11 News Investigates, I'm Tolly Taylor.